Yo, what's going on everyone? It's Technology L here and today in this video we are gonna have our hands-on session on this superb gaming monitor which comes from Acer. I bought it off Amazon a few months ago and it costed me 9000 back then. It is a refurbished one on top of that. A new one roughly costed 12000 but if you are thinking to buy yourself a gaming monitor, do check out the links in description. It takes you to some of the best affordable gaming monitors combined with the great indian sale you can get it for an unbelievable price so let's not get diverted away from the product you can see that the manufacturer bill on this box the price stated is 24000 while the actual price on amazon always ranges from 10 to 15000 so keep an eye wherever the price drops down simply order it up some of the product highlights include the 24 inch screen size the ips panel the 165 hertz refresh rate 0.5 milliseconds response hdr amd FreeSync, and whatnot the inbox content starts with the power cable the display cable and then you are all set to grab your monitor out of the box it's my first time unboxing a monitor and i have no clue how to properly do it so it took me pretty long but around 20 minutes later i somehow managed to figure it out once done, the first thing that you find is the monitor stand which is perfectly fixed in place with tapes and it does not look like it's originally fixed. It has been fixed up by the refurbished packages. The stand is a solid aluminium based metallic stand and it's pretty rigid and strong. The only disadvantage I see in here is that this stand is going to take a lot of space. Alright, we are done with all the inbox contents. Time for the reveal and here we have our monitor perfectly wrapped in this anti-electrostatic packaging which to be honest is a good thing to be found with refurbished products and this glossy look does not make you feel that it's a refurbished one the monitor looks absolutely stunning but let's quickly get the stand installed you basically get two stand units the smaller one simply gets clipped in and the larger one you need to screw it down with the thumb screw provided and with that done the monitor is all set to be used up the stand does have a two-way tilt and just look at that, how stunning this monitor looks with this super slim bezel. The only bezel you see is at the bottom with the branding. The stand looks absolutely stylish and this minimal look over the screen with no additional stuff just makes it look insane. The looks are just mesmerizing. The stand is pretty high and with this 24 inch huge screen, you won't ever feel that your monitor is too low on your desk. Even from the side, the monitor is superly slim. It has a little bit of bump on the back for the processing components inside. All that apart, this monitor is all set to give my setup a new look. It's time to power it on and let's see how it performs. But the cable that comes with the monitor, the power cable, it is a pretty durable one, but one con is that this plug is pretty huge as compared to the standard 3-pin size. So yes, I'll be using a different cable that I already have and let's see how it works out. So at the base of the monitor, you get one display port input, two HDMI and one aux output which will give you the audio out. And for the power, you have the standard power socket. The monitor detailing and the graphics on the backside is pretty impressive. It has got holes for heat exhaustion and it is VESA compatible as well. A 100cm VESA compatible wall mount can easily work for your monitor. And coming to the control interface, you get a power button, menu, exit, adjust and this cool little joystick which also has a button in it for all directional controls. Time for the moment of truth. Let's switch it on and see if it actually works. And there it is, the Acer logo pops up and you can see there's a small little highlight that mentions the AMD FreeSync Premium compatibility. It does have auto sourcing but you can also adjust it from the in monitor controls. It might not be visible in the video but the color calibration of this monitor is just next level. I have been using cheap VGA monitors for the past several years and it's my first time in my life that I'm experiencing true colors. This monitor has this HDR feature which enhances the color production of the monitor and your PC's compatibility. And of course, the nightlight should be turned off in order to experience the proper colors. Now I would just spend a few minutes and configure my rain meter, my wallpaper engine, and then see how this monitor actually looks with this immersive colors from the live wallpapers. And you are free to judge the results. Now let's have a quick test if this monitor passes the viewing angles. And you can see that no matter how right or how left to the screen I shift to, the colors of the monitor stay consistent. And even it's the same for up and down. So yes, it passes it. 
it's all just a waste of money if we don't head up and manually enable the monitor to work at the refresh rate of 165 hertz make sure you do this as well in case you are already on a 165 or a better refresh rate monitor just cross check if it's running on its full potential hdr configured custom wallpaper setup 165 hertz enabled now let's head up to the on-screen display, the OSD menu of the monitor, which you can simply access by clicking the button of your joystick. Press it twice and you'll be able to take control of all the features present in there. You get complete controls for the monitor, including the monitor's inbuilt speakers, volume adjustment, the color calibration with this completely manual. You get lots of gaming features like the on-screen crosshair, AMD FreeSync. You can turn the overdrive to ultra for the insane 0.5 millisecond latency. Otherwise, you can let it be on normal. At normal, it runs from 1 to 5 milliseconds on an average. You get the OSD settings, system settings for input, wide mode, auto source, and even quick start. Apart from which, you also get this option to save your settings to different monitor profiles, which save onto your monitor's onboard memory, and you can also adjust these modes and settings using the Acer monitor software as well. Just to remind you, this monitor comes with inbuilt speakers as well, so let's have a quick test how powerful they are. That was impressive, pretty loud and clear and crisp in quality. Now comes an important point, if your table is going to shake or you live in a place with earthquakes or you have that habit of banging your table, trust me this stand is not so good, it will give you continuous wobbling but it is decent, like a little bit of wobble is acceptable. Wobble support, this is a gaming monitor and it does have all the necessary features including an insane refresh rate, a good response time. It is a 1080p one and it supports resolution up to 4K as well. And of course, the gaming performance is going to be next level once I'm playing on this monitor. But sadly, since the time I have bought it, I have been able to secure no time for gaming at all. Trust me, college life sucks. Sadness apart, one unspoken rule of gaming monitors is that if you want to use above 144Hz, you will have to use the display cable. It won't work on HDMI at all, but with this monitor, you can use HDMI for reaching up to 165Hz. Just the only condition, it should be a good one, not the cheap local HDMI cables. And yes, so with that, we are pretty much done for this video. What I'll say about this monitor is that it offers you everything you expect from a gaming monitor and the best feature on top of that is that it's affordable. Unlike other 24 inch IPS gaming monitors, it has a higher refresh rate, a lower response input delay, which obviously makes it a green flag for you. So the moment of conclusion, should you buy this monitor? A big yes. Who should buy this monitor? Gamers, content creators, as well as local consumers. It's suitable for everyone. With its insane color quality and features, it makes it suitable for both a person who loves to watch movies and the person who loves to do color grading and video editing as well. So yes, this monitor is suitable for everyone and offers you everything that you can expect from a good gaming monitor. In case you are thinking to buy this one, do check out the link in description because the Amazon Great Indian sale is going on and you can get this product 24 inch variant for a price as low as 8000 rupees. So do give it a shot. And that's it for this video. If you found anything helpful or interesting, drop a like and if you want to know something more, drop a comment. I'll reply you back ASAP. And don't forget to subscribe this channel because we are going to perform a wall mount for this monitor and a complete setup makeover as well. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.